Where the hell am I? Feels like I'm on another planet. Got up early this morning, about two o'clock, and raced here to Bodney Bay. Long drive. And a lot different scenery here. Yeah, it really feels like another planet. Going out on this beautiful vessel. They chase some yellowfin and bluefin today. Bluefin would be amazing if we got one of them. Never done big tuna fishing before. If we get one, it'll be a bonus. So just fingers crossed we get a good one. But check out this scenery. That's what I got out to this morning. What a yell. How you going, Sash? Yeah, good, mate. How you doing? Good, mate. Ready to rock and roll? Shit, yeah. <laughs> Look at these big fancy setups on here. Much different gear than what I'm used to dealing with. Bloody beautiful boat. Riggers going, big setups, not mucking around. We were picking up some fish on the sea under there, so She's sitting in about 600 meters of water down here. Very dark blue water. Geez, I hope we got some fish today. Today we're running five setups. Or Shimano Viagra, pair the Shimano Viagra Hyper Rod, one straight butt and four bent butts, the Kula Lures in various colours, 24 kilo line, and we're running two T's about the back also. So we've got a lot of rigs, got to rig them correctly. with it. Good spread lines going. Oh, a lot going on up here. They might be some tuna up here, is it, or just dolphins? Jumping on going on out here. There's got to be some big tuna mixed in, surely. There we go. We've got a fish on, guys. It's taking a bit. It's taking a bit. Oh. Feels 
like a bit of weight. Yeah, no, no, no. Feels like a bit of weight indeed. Yeah. There we go. Feels alright. I mean, I don't know what they feel like, but it feels alright. Put <laughs> in a bit of disbelief. Am <laughs> <laughs> I dreaming? See, let's hope he sticks with it. You can put that in here if you want. Get in there, like that. Yeah, find the spot, find the sweet spot. Keep that tension on. Keep that tension on. It is, mate. Fish on here. I'm 
what I'm gonna want you to do yep. is fight the fight the fish on my driver's side over here. That's it. Still got a bit of fight in this fish. Might have another go. Close. Close, alright. Then you know when you see colour, get off. You will hit them. Did your work out, doesn't it? You don't need much skin doing this, son. Double. There's a double. Okay, keep on
Let's deal with this and get the hook out anyway. <laughs> Flame down here. That's good, yeah. Wow. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Look at that. <laughs> get this out of the way. And I am spent. I am totally spent. Let me have a little lay down with this thing, I'll tell you. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, absolutely stoked. PB for me by an absolute mile, my first yellow fin ever, so I am absolutely stoked. Wow, that hook's just gonna fall out. Bloody beautiful, bloody awesome. What a fish! Beautiful, fish. Woo! beautiful fish. Now, do you reckon I can hold this up by myself? I reckon hard. you can. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. This may struggle after the battle. <laughs> but I don't mind getting covered in fish. <laughs> you can do it, mate. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Woo! What a ripper. Out of nowhere. Absolutely awesome. Out of nowhere. Surprise that one. Awesome. Good surprise that one. Awesome fun. Nice. That's it. That easy. Give him a cut here. As well as a cut tendon. Flip him over it again. Get out of him, get that fish. Get that ice bag, Chase. Yep. I'm not doing that without gloves again. Never done it before. Now, as you can see, we're really scrambling to prep this fish up right. We cut it on the lateral line, top and bottom, flipped it over, did the same, and then raced it onto the ice. Um, these fish overheat really quickly, so you got to prep them up really quickly. Okay, so That's what we can do is um, let's break up some ice, strip the bags, get a little bit faster that way. Straight on, straight on, rip it up. You want to open? Yeah, open the bags. You don't want to leave one close, leave one close. They're not close, they're not close. Slurry going there. Yep. 
rigs back out after that big yellow fin before just at, just on 12 o'clock at the moment bloody hell it's been my thing lately the big fish always seem to hit lunchtime yeah we're going to try and get another one hopefully we can get jason on or big on here bloody unreal can't wipe the smile off my face, I tell ya. PB, could have been any size yellow fin, it would have been a PB, but yeah, awesome. Big ass dolphins down here. My guesstimation would be, shit, I don't know. 250 kilo, I suppose they are. Big ass dolphins, not like small ones, that's for sure. These are huge. I guess they're out here chasing what the tuna are chasing. Oh. Poor fish. Poor sash in the corner there, throwing up. Feel a million dollars. Oh, how are you feeling, <laughs> mate? Good? A million bucks. Yeah, good stuff. It was like me at bloody Nelson's <laughs> Bay, throwing up all day long, but we still keep going, we still keep fishing. That's what we do. We never give up. Some people cube for tuna. I've got other ideas. <laughs> <laughs> We've got automatic burly dispenser. We're just motoring, trawling on the way back in, hoping we can pick up another one. It'd be nice to see Jason hook up on one, but we'll see what happens. Watch out for these big fellas out here, you don't want them bumping into you, that's for sure. Bloody have it. Look at the size of this thing. It is a monster. Probably about 40 kilo we guessed him at. Big bloody fish. I'm gonna get a measurement on him, but I'm guessing him shit. I guessed him about 1.3, but he may be longer, I don't know. We're gonna clean him up. We prepped him up nicely. Sesh bled him in the lateral line there, gave him a little cut, cut him at the bit there, flipped him over, done the same, bled him out. So we've got some two big fillets here, we're just going to fill them up, see how they go. So look at how much meat we've got here. Enough tuna here to feed an army, I tell you. Well, that's it, another adventure done. First time big tuna fishing, and what an adventure. We battled to about lunchtime, and then all hell broke loose. We got that fish, and smiles all around we forgot about the quiet times and it was a good day just like that amazing how it can all change yeah so big thank you to sesh too mate you're a legend for taking me out enjoyed it bloody enjoyed awesome company. mate like it, i'm always learning there's always something new to learn don't ever think there's not nothing new to learn guys always something new to learn off someone all right guys if you ain't fishing you're wishing i'll see you on the water catch us